Hi, Cami and Eisen Zimmer here. Today we're going to review some of the different types of targets you might find at competition. These targets can be found at USPSA and 3-Gun Matches. Due to the ever-evolving nature of competitive shooting, this list is not all-inclusive, but some of the more common types of ones that are found at matches. This video will break the targets down into four categories. Pistol, rifle, shotgun, and specialty targets. Please note, some of these targets may be used for multiple firearm types. Before we get into the various types of targets, we should briefly cover the various color schemes that you're going to encounter during the matches. The first one we have is this cardboard type. And this brown cardboard is considered the scoring side of the target, and is the side that the shooter wishes to engage. These are the side that, you want to, that you're going to want to hit, and these are considered hits and the scoring side, so this is what you're looking for. Next we have our white side of our target. These are considered no-shoots. Uh, shooters do not wish to engage this because they do incur penalties, so stay away from the white sides of the target. The last is what we're going to have is our black side of the target. These are considered hardcover targets. Uh, shots on this target will be considered misses. Uh, they don't incur hits or penalties. Most of them will have a brown type up here. These, this is the area that you want to shoot for because this is what's going to be considered a scoring target. Uh, so now that we've covered these three, these are what you're going to be looking for in a match. The first targets we will review are pistol targets. For paper targets, there are two general types. First is an IPSC target, which is kind of like a human-shaped torso. And the second is a metric target, or commonly referred to as a turtle target. These clips show what IPSC targets look like, and these are hardcover IPSC targets. Remember, the black colored area signifies portions which are considered hardcover. Hits in these areas do not count for penalties or hits, they are considered misses. Also shown here are steel knockdown poppers and static steel plates. For rifle targets, we generally classify them as short, mid, and long range targets. Short range targets are mostly going to be paper targets. Like pistol paper, paper targets, these are going to be IPSC or metrics. This clip shows both metric or turtle targets as the top, top targets and IPSC targets on the bottom. These targets can be orientated in any direction. Mid-range targets are generally paper or steel targets. Paper targets are going to be your standard IPSC or metric target although they may be one half size. And mid-range steel is generally going to be static steel plates. Long-range targets are almost exclusively steel flashers. Essentially, when you hit the steel, the target swings back and a brightly colored material will flash, allowing those scoring to know you've hit the target. For shotgun targets, a lot of what you'll see are static clays and steel. Clay targets are the same used for trap or skeet shooting and are usually held in place by stands of any number of configurations. For steel targets, these are usually knockdown type targets. Some of these knockdown type steels are poppers which launch a clay into the air. You must hit both the steel and the clay aerial target to avoid penalties. Lastly, some matches may require shotgun slugs. These can be on both paper or steel targets. You'll notice in this clip that one of the targets swings back and forth. These are known as swingers. Finally, we will be reviewing specialty targets. One of the most popular types of specialty targets is the Texas Star. The Texas Star is a wheel with five spokes. On the ends of each of these spokes are steel plates. When a plate is hit, it falls from the spoke and the wheel becomes unbalanced. When the wheel is unbalanced, it starts to spin. These props are usually engaged with a pistol or with a shotgun. There are multiple variations of the Texas Star, like the one shown here. The next most common specialty targets are plate racks. Plate racks generally have six round plates lined up in a linear fashion. When a plate is hit, it falls over. These plates can usually be taken in any order. Plate racks can be engaged with a pistol, rifle, or shotgun. Stand by! 
Perhaps the most intimidating of the common specialty targets is a spinner. These targets can be engaged with any firearm, but shotgun is the most common. It's a simple design, two steel plates connected by a, by a cross piece that rotates around a spindle. One plate is larger than the other, so the target naturally comes to a rest in a vertical position. All the sh shooter needs to do is hit the plate until they make one complete rotation around the axis. Sounds easy, right? These are just a few of the more common targets you will see used during a three-gun competition. These targets can be arranged in endless configuration, which means you are unlikely to encounter the same stage at different matches. Hopefully this video has helped alleviate some of the apprehension associated with going to your first three-gun match. Now you've seen most of the common targets and know how they will function. Now it's time to get your gear ready and sign up for your first match. I hope to see you out at the range.